Welcome to this tutorial of how to fly a drone in Germany. Germany has some of the most beautiful and stunning landscape in Europe. And flying drone could be an awesome way to capture those stunning beauty. But before taking your drone in the skies, here are a couple of rules which you should know about flying drone in Germany. Hey everyone, my name is Sankalp and you're watching Chasing Wheel Bots, so let's get started. So first thing first, if your drone weighs more than 250 grams or it is less than 250 grams but it has camera on it, you have to register it with the Aviation Authority. A lot of people think that Mavic Mini is a toy drone and you don't need to register it with the Aviation Authority, but it's not. Since it is equipped with a camera, you have to register it. So even if it is 249 grams, you still need to register it. So once you have registered your drone, you're going to get a 16 digit uh, alphanumeric code, which you have to print it out and stick it on your drone. So what all the information is needed and what all things are stored in your registration. First thing is your address and your identity proof. Second thing, your liability insurance. So these all data are actually present on your drone. So since you have already stick your details on the drone, if you bump into someone, they can get your information and they can put a case on you because that's when liability insurance comes in to save your day. Yes, in Germany, you have to keep a liability insurance, but there is a rule for drone is that you cannot fly drone in Germany without having a liability insurance. It's must have. Even if you're flying a Mavic Mini, doesn't matter. You need to have a liability insurance. So now let's take a look at how you can register your drone in Germany. So now I'm at the Lufthard Bundesamt, which is the official aviation authority website of Germany where you have to register your drone. So let me just uh, translate it into English. That would be easy for me to explain to you. So yes, here are the important data for the registration. You need your full name, official valid identification document address, which is in Germany, of course, email address, insurer name and policy number, which is your liability interest and rest. Now the fees for registration, it's 20 euro as a natural person and 50 euro if you're as a legal entity registry. For Mavic Mini user, it's you don't have to pay anything because your drone is less than 250 grams and you're only registering because it has camera. So you don't have to pay anything. I mean, that's how I did it. Now I'm here at uh, US Operator Registration. I click here. And I'm at the new website, which is... Uh, which has around six stages for registration. So I here create an email ID and with password and account. After that, I do the registration of my pilot license. I enter my details of personal details. I enter my identification document, post that I give details about the insurance and I just submit it. And then wait for them to give me the number. If I just go to the login portal, I can show you my details. Once you have registered, you can log into your LBA website and the base looks like this. Now your EID, which is your UAS identification details are like this. This is your 16 bytes of information. Uh, this is a 16 character uh, license number for US and the last three bytes are which you see blurred are important for you. It's hidden stuff. You don't have to show it. So you just have to take out the print of 16 and then display it. You can see I submitted my personal details, identification document, insurance details. Now you don't see a four pilot ID because I have not appeared for the pilot license, reason being I have, reason being I'm just flying the Mavic Mini. But if you're flying in higher draw, I mean, with more weight than Mavic Mini, you should appear for pilot license as well. And that's an exam which you have to appear after reading the theoretical details about this thing. And I haven't done it, honestly. So 
But yes, you have to appear for it in order to fly the rest of the drone. Anything apart from Apple Mini. Uh, if something else, you can drop in comment below. So you have done your drone registration and now you're ready to fly your drone. Next comes where you can fly drone in Germany. So like in any other countries of Europe, they have their own application where you can check it whether this particular area is allowed to fly drone or not. In this situation, you have to make sure that you're not using the DJI application, you're using the country application. So for Germany, Drone IQ. So this is one application which is going to be your go-to application in order to know whether you can fly in the particular area or not. Yes, some of the conditions apply that you cannot fly near the hospitals, you cannot fly near the airport or military area. But then you're also not allowed to fly in the locality where you're living, where are people there. You, of course, you cannot fly over the people. So a couple of places where you can easily fly is find when you're opening the map, you find the green area where uh, there's a garden or this, these things. Most probably those areas are free for flying. I have done it in Munich. When I was there uh, traveling to Munich, I did it in the uh, English Garden. In Berlin, you couldn't do it. That's true. In Frankfurt also, you cannot do it. I mean, legally, you cannot do it. Now we are going to take a look at the application and see where you can fly drone or not. So let's take a look at the Drone IQ application. So when you're setting up your Drone IQ account, you have to make sure that you're keeping your address there. All your personal details. Then comes, this is the home screen of the application. And you have to select your drone which you're going to fly. Like in my case, it's going to be DJI Mavic Mini. So I have selected that drone here. So I already covered about the categories of the flight, like A1, A2, A3 in my other video, which was maybe here and you can check that and know which are the different categories uh, to fly in Europe so my drone is going to fall in A1 category so I selected that category next comes the radius of flight so I would say I want to fly here maybe I can draw a map as well so let's draw a map like this it's more like a tip but yes when you're flying a drone you should always keep in keep it in sight and don't fly it above 100 meter so when you're flying your FPV, it's better to have someone to accompany you so that he or she can guide you and help you before you mess up something. In case you're here for shooting and you're flying for commercial purposes, you have to keep in mind that it takes some time to get the authority and approval from the German aviation. So make sure you are planning ahead, well and ahead about this thing. Fai, it's really important that you should respect people's privacy and you should not record them or make a photograph without asking their consent. Like once when I was in the English garden, I was in one of the locality and I wanted to fly a drone there. I actually took, I actually took permission from everyone who was going to be in that particular spot and going to be recorded in that drone. That whether I can shoot them or not, even, I mean, they are not going to be a direct subject of it, aren't going to be subject of it. But yeah, they will follow on to it. And that's it. By following these simple rules and regulation, you can fly your drone in Germany and stay safe and legal. And thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Happy flying.